Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we have more information on the upcoming major fishing update where we get crab pots, advanced fishing rods and other improvements. The notes for this update are super exciting and we're going to have the update come out next week so stay tuned for an overlook of what we're going to be getting as well as some of my assumptions and guesses onto exactly what this is all going to look like because we've only seen screenshots and as you can see here I've kind of tried to recreate this and get my closest guess on what this is going to look like. First of all, we see this photo and it says the pot and line fishing, more info. I love it. I love getting the potential to see more information. And as you can see here, these crabs look awesome. They're quite nice and detailed. And not only that, you can kind of see them chilling inside this, you know, shaped cube thing, but also look in the back those appear to be the crab pots. Now the crab pots themselves look like they may be pre-made items rather than something we build, like you see here the piping, but these may be just kind of like hopper style items that will be deployed. Anyways, we're gonna take a look at the notes and see if we get more information. So it says next week, 14th of August, we will get the next major update, pot fishing and the advanced fishing line. So, here we have it, another photo, and look at these crab pots. So it seems that they are stacked to have these two openings. As you can see here, this is most likely just another angle of the exact same thing. And here we have a bunch of the crab pots themselves, and the crab legs are kind of sticking out. So really cool animation that we get, and just a nice new detail for the game. So it says, lobster and crabs are new sea creatures that can navigate the sea floor as well as above water on the shores. There are many varieties, so there's spider crabs and I can't pronounce this, lobsters. Each variety are found in different locations and hold different market values. Love that. They can be caught in pots placed on the ocean floor. It may, may take time to catch, but you can deploy the pots, return them later and collect your haul. Like fish, these creatures can be held in the hands. However, if you drop them, they will scurry away in search of the ocean. So here's another photo of the crab pot itself. So like I said, two openings. And I can't quite tell what this is. So maybe... Hmm, these ones here do not have that this top. So maybe it'll come in two forms. Or maybe it'll be two inventory items. The crab pot itself. And then like a crab pot lifter. But I can't quite see what is up there if this is just blocks and something to attach it to which is very possible as well um, this is a much smaller boat you could see here in this photo whereas here we had a much larger vessel I like this size personally I think this is a great look and you could see that it just has the crab couple of crab pots and in the background we see some more details on what they potentially look like how we lift them will be quite interesting to me uh, just as this is something that will require understanding. Actually, I think I've seen something interesting. So here we have the connector, the electric connector to this part, and this is lifting up the crab pot. But in the back here, we could see that it's kind of a square top, which looks just like this with the um, connector right there and then a light off to the side. So the light presumably flashes so we can know where we dropped our crab pot. So it seems that it's gonna be kind of a modular item. Like we build, we take the inventory crab pot and then place the top pieces, which may include either a winch to drop it down with or otherwise lights or other kind of GPS signaling, whatever we may want, including honestly propellers. It could even come to us potentially. So that gives us some decent ideas. And here just a bigger, bigger photo. Of course, we'll be storing them in the hoppers themselves, but in this case, they're actually putting the crab pots on the side. I'd be curious if we could pull the crabs out of the crab pots and put them back into the crab pots. And this guy over here seems to be holding maybe a lobster. I'm not quite sure, but regardless, if the crab pots themselves can be placed on the vessel and stored, the, the crabs can be stored in them. That may relieve the need for a hopper other than obviously selling it you'd have to kind of sell them one by one but interesting to see this anyways down here 
fishing improvements. It says, as well as the new features, we've been listening to player feedback and have had some much needed improvements. The fish finder will function in a more useful way with better data output. Some fish selling gantries have been improved with longer reach. Fishing spots are now typically either in the main biome or the Arctic and less likely to be far out at sea. And, and the net capacity is greatly increased. Love that. That's going to be so useful especially as you get out in the world and go about whether you want to recreationally fish or professionally fish it seems that these updates are now catering to a lot of different things so i love it i love to see these types of changes and fixes and updates i'm also super happy because my atoll platform can actually hold the crab pots previously i didn't know the size they were going to be and i was worried that i'd need to make a larger platform but i do like this size for kind of the fisheries style boat. So what I've done is I've mocked up approximately how large I think these crab pots are going to be. Maybe a little larger and especially if we have to add the top connectors and things to it but overall the thing itself from the screenshots appeared to be about this height at like around four blocks tall maybe five blocks tall and like five blocks in either direction. So five by five by five would be my guess of the size. So easily can be fit on a smaller vessel. I do love when the developers give us updates like this, especially things that can benefit the game in terms of creativity and putting, you know, more creations out there with different functions and features. So I know some people were upset and saying that, that you know, this is not a fishing game. And while I agree, I think that there's a beauty in the fact that Stormworks can be so many different things. And I really do love the fact that we have a game that is so versatile. If you want to go to space, you can go to space. You can fish. You can do industrial things. You can do recreational things. You can pretty much do anything here. And that is the beauty of it. Some things worth noting is how heavy will the crab pot be for it to sink to the bottom? Maybe it'll just sink because it'll be naturally that way, or will it have to be super heavy and not really able to be picked up by a crane like this? That's one of those things we're going to have to find out. Additionally, some other things we're going to have to find out is exactly how they work, how they can be stowed. Are they modular like I suspect, where we can add then other blocks to it, kind of like I've done here, or will they just have their own system? We're going to find out for that too, but overall I'm super excited, super excited to be going up to the north, kind of like that greatest catch style with the waves and all that things. It's just a really cool, cool vibe and definitely some really interesting gameplay that will be gained from that. So I myself will be updating the RSV Atoll for a different name, obviously it will not be this one, but it will be a different name that will be specifically intended to fish the crabs and do all that good stuff now with that update like i said the advanced uh, fishing line and radar and um, fish scanner fish finder all that stuff that will also be implemented as time goes on but rest assured we're going to be having we're going to have these creations hitting the workshop soon i may not be available just because i may be very busy in the next couple weeks but i will do my best to put out content to put out creations and to make sure i'm there for you to watch these videos and get an understanding of this update. So thank you all for watching. I hope you stay tuned for other videos that I put out, for more creations that I put out, and for all kinds of other stuff. So thank you for watching, stay tuned for more, and until next time, happy storm everyone.